solar is being embraced in Alberta in many ways. Solar and wind are now known as the cheapest forms of new uh, energy on the electrical grid. And I think that's ultimately results in, uh, in more electrification of our, our grid. Solar Alberta is a not-for-profit organization. We have been in existence for over 30 years now. This is actually our 30th anniversary this year. And uh, we serve two primary functions. One is to educate the public about solar and renewables in general and energy efficiency. Uh, and the second is to serve as an industry hub. So providing support and professional development uh, supports as well for about 160 different business members across the province. The organization has grown in many ways. Uh, first of all, it was a very small club, very Edmonton-centric at first. Uh, the founding members were uh, you know, doing solar themselves, helping each other do solar. Uh, and it was a really you know, grassroots sort of initiative. But we definitely are no longer an Edmonton-centric organization. We're very province-wide. When it comes to our partners, we are very, very fortunate uh, to be well supported by Nate. Nate has hosted many of our trade shows over the years. They often provide us free space for our workshops, which enables us to run free programming for the public. Um, they have been very involved as well as we've moved online. We've been trying to get creative and find new ways to continue working together. In Alberta, there's a lot of unknown still for the general public about solar, and so Solar Alberta is really important because they bring a lot of education to the table for the general public, but they also are elevating the, the, both the discourse and the training for solar professionals with a lot of different courses, and that helps us increase the amount of solar adoption at the residential level, at the commercial level, and also at the industrial level. Anybody at all is free to become a member of Solar Alberta. We have about 350 members right now and it's equally split between individuals and businesses. We run a number of webinars. In the past they were in-person seminars but we have obviously moved online. And those are open to everybody and they are free of charge. In the fall we also offer professional courses which are paid courses. The other thing that we offer uh, for our business members are uh, directory services where they can list their company on our website. By being a member of Solar Alberta, they have more access to the grant programs and the incentives uh, that various governments have put in place. I was part of the sustainability team for Riverdale and we had committed to going carbon neutral back in 2005. And so we had solar aspirations, and uh, that's when I reached out to Solar Alberta for help. They hooked us up with our installer, and uh, they helped us pick suitable locations. I think we picked three and then let the community engage and figure out where they would most like to see it. Um, we picked this particular location because it's a spot where we had seen people stage weddings, and so we thought it would be a nice gathering spot, and it has totally proven to be just that. Like bands have concerts underneath the solar gazebo and so it really has turned out to be a shade structure that pays for itself by generating electricity for the league. So we're now with a retailer and because of the way they compensate us for our electricity, the league's making extra money every year for additional programming. Welcome to Solar Alberta's Multilingual Solar 101 workshop series. For the year to come, Solar Alberta has a lot of big plans. Uh, in particular, we're planning to roll out Solar 101 workshops in languages other than English. And we're really excited to be offering that for the first time ever. So that's a big step forward for us uh, to expand our reach into new demographics and make sure that all Albertans, uh, regardless of you know, what language they feel most comfortable learning in, are able to participate and learn more about solar in Alberta. Uh, and the second piece that we're working on in the coming year is, uh, is combining our online learning experiences that we've really honed and, uh, and made so excellent throughout the COVID period. We're gonna start combining that with some in-person programming again and trying to find that happy blend between uh, the online learning that has such a great reach to all corners of Alberta and the in-person programming that we know helps build our community, um, helps strengthen our, our networks, 
and ultimately uh, helps people find mentors and the support they need to transition into the industry. Solar is getting to become a, an accessible technology. I would say there's still a ways to go. And, and the, the, the primary barrier for most people when it comes to solar is the upfront capital cost. There are a number of financing mechanisms that are allowing more and more people to participate in solar. Um, but what we really need to do is make sure that municipalities across Alberta start adopting the Clean Energy Improvement Program. Ultimately, what the Clean Energy Improvement Program allows municipalities to do is to basically loan their residents the upfront capital for their solar installation or their energy efficiency upgrade, and then for those folks to pay off their installation over time. And so that makes it much more affordable for most homeowners. Even though that program is amazing, it still only helps homeowners. And so there's still a far ways to go before renters can fully participate and landlords and others. So that's something that we're working on and we've got a number of partners who are trying to get creative about how to make sure that all of Albertans can participate in solar and uh, not just the wealthy. And it's going to take all levels of government and, and a lot of grassroots uh, movements to really uh, make sure that we can all benefit from uh, renewables in the future.